So last night, maybe was the win of the year for the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, I know that's a relative term when you're talking about being a team that's, you know, a game above 500. And thank goodness, I think we've won two in a row now. I mean, okay. But when you look at the totality of all this kind of stuff, right? You look at the fact that if the Hawks would have lost last night, they would have slipped down to the 10 seed because you're playing the Bulls, okay? And the Bulls are are in the 10 spot right now. So as we look, the Hawks were eight, the Raptors were nine, the Bulls were 10. Raptors and Hawks have the same record, identical record. So if you'd have lost last night, number one is you'd have lost the season series to the Bulls. As it was, you split 2-2. Two, two. So that's good from a tiebreaker perspective, okay? So you'd have lost the uh, season series against them. You'd have slipped down to number 10. And the fact is that you were on the road. You were without DeAndre Hunter. You were without Trey Young. And all of these things, you know, we talk about these moments and talk about taking advantage of the schedule and not taking advantage of the schedule. All of these things were working against the Atlanta Hawks last night. And what did you see? Was a really good win. 123-105. They kicked the crap out of the Bulls. You saw lots of good ball movement. Bogey was making threes last night. He led the way with 26 points. DeJounte had 17 points. He was 7 to 13 from the field. He had 17 points, nine assists last night. Capella had his typical 13 points, 14 boards last night. Sadiq Bey gave you 19 points in the starting lineup as well. Okongu, another 11 points and six boards off the bench. Jalen Johnson with a huge night off the bench, 16 points, four boards, three steals, and a couple of assists. So you had good ball movement and everything with it. But when I tell you that last night was probably the, the best win of the year, when you factored all of those things about the standings and stuff, because nothing, I mean, look, if the Hawks would have fell down to 10th, And and the Hawks would not have fell out of the playoff, the playing round, whatever. Like that. they have a, a wide enough gap that you know from from who's the 11th seed. And I don't even know who. Maybe Indiana, I believe, might be the 11th seed and and, and all this stuff. But th there was certainly a big enough gap. Yeah, Indiana was a, was 11th. Certainly was a big enough gap that the Hawks were not going to fall out of the play in round at all. But starting at the 10th seed, that means you're on the road. You know, in the 9-10 matchup. Then you have to win that game, and then I believe that you're still on the road when 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 you go against whoever win whoever the loser is of the seven eight matchup. So nothing would have been you know beneficial for the Atlanta Hawks to be finding themselves multiple games on the road in a playing round. But as it was, you went on the road with two of your starters out. Your best player was out last night. And everything on the line, because now we're down to the last three games. Now we're down to just three games left to be played. And now that, okay, we've got the season series over Toronto, we split with the Chicago Bulls, you feel like you're in a pretty good place to stay in that eighth spot. Now, look, again, you know, even nine would be, I, I don't, I don't want to say a disaster, but nine would not be a very good spot to be sitting in. Just stay at the eighth spot. And last night went a long way to making that happen. And, and you had to overcome a lot of different things. And you know, look, it was a it was a it was a good win over Dallas the other night. You had to fight, scratch, and claw to hang on. You you blew a 15 point lead and all that, but you, you found a way to win that game. And you it went on the road. And say what you will about the Chicago Bulls. Again, you know, they're another one of these teams that's right around 500, right? They're, they're, they're really in the same boat as, you know, Toronto and the Hawks and all these kind of vagabonds that sit toward the bottom of the standings. Now, here's the interesting part, okay? Now you got to follow it up with a game tonight against the Wizards. Now you got Washington. Now, Washington, I think, is pretty much out of the playoff hunt at this point. But... The Hawks are what two and nine, two and ten in back-to-back -back games. You know, games on the back end of a of a 
double dip and games with no rest. And that takes you down into the bottom feeders. Again, their record in back in the second part of a back to back is down with Charlotte and Orlando and Detroit, like at Houston, like you're at the bottom of the barrel. Can the Hawks find a way to win tonight? Look, say what you will. Hawks find a way to win. That would be three in a row. You'd have won a back-to-back. I don't know how often that's happened. I don't know how many times you've you've won a back-to-back. Well, obviously, two times is all you've won. So maybe a little bit of momentum for the Hawks. I don't know if uh, Trey Young is going to be back or not. He had a non-COVID illness. But certainly, if you can figure out a way to win tonight, you got a nice little three-game winning streak going. You'll have won back-to-back games, you know, on a back-to-back part of the schedule. And those are all rare things. A win on the road with two of your starters out. A back-to-back, if you can win tonight. Like, those are rare things that have happened for the Atlanta Hawks. That has There hasn't been very many of those kinds of things. And even a three-game winning streak where you can get yourself a couple of games above 500. Those have been very few and far between that we've been able to see. So maybe it's a good time for the Atlanta Hawks, but certainly last night might have been this season's win of the year when you look back at all of the dominoes that could have fallen if the Hawks didn't figure out a way to win it. All right, let's uh, talk about our friends over at Built Bar. Listen, um, head to BuiltMarchMadness.com today and check out you know a, a bracket that you can vote for your favorite bar or puff. BuiltMarchMadness.com. Vote for your favorite bar or puff. And when you go over there and you vote, you're going to get a chance to be entered into a drawing where 50 lucky locked on listeners will get a free box of built bars. So one uh, lucky locked on fan is also going to win a 12 month subscription where you can have built bars delivered right to your door. So head to Built March Madness today. It's the best protein bar ever. Vote for your favorite flavor, whether it's traditional protein bars, the protein-infused marshmallow puffs, whatever your favorite is, head to BuiltMarchMadness.com today. Vote for your favorite bar or puff and be entered in to win either a free box of Built Bars, which 50 lucky, lucky Locked On listeners will get, or that 12-month subscription where you can have it uh, brought to, right to your door Built.com is the place to go. Check out BuiltMarchMadness.com.